So a grammar task this week involved writing verbs and sentences. So I've picked a few of the verbs from your list. So I've got the verb to play, to close and to run. So we need to remind ourselves of what a verb is. A verb is an action word. It's something that we can do. So these are our verbs here. Now I could just very simply write, I like to play outside. And that is a sentence, it's a simple sentence and it makes sense. But I'd like to make my sentence a bit more interesting, give it a bit more context to it as well. So what I could do to my verbs is to add a suffix. The suffix goes at the end of a verb and depending on what you've added, it will change the meaning of the verb. So I've got ing, ing, and I've got ed. So I picked these three verbs for a reason. I'll see if you can figure out why I picked those three. So play. So play is a verb. I like to play. I am playing with my friends. I played with my friends. This here has made me think more about the tense of the word. If I am playing, I'm doing it right now in the present tense. If I played, I've already done it. It's happened in the past tense. Right, close. So we're thinking about opening and closing here. So if I do this here, do we think that is right? No, it's not right. If the verb ends in an E, I need to remove the E and just add ing there. But with adding ed, well, I don't need to add the ed, I just need to add the e, add the g, sorry. So we've got close, closing, and closed. Now, with run, it's a bit tricky. I've got run here. And I can I add just ing there? No, I can't just add ing there. With the word run, that's a short vowel over there. If it has a short vowel, I need to double the consonant. N is my consonant here. So running. So we've got run and running. I am running. I like running. Me and my friends were running. So we could have past tense there. And I can't write run because it's an irregular verb. So I just can't do it. It becomes, as we all know, ran. So I ran. So I could make a sentence or some sentences with any of these. It doesn't just have to be the verb itself. It could have, be a verb with a suffix and that would be really interesting. The other things I want to consider in my sentences is, can I include any of these things? Can I include an adjective or more than one adjective? Can I use adverbs and can I use conjunctions? Now let's remind ourselves of what these things are. These are my describing words. These are describing my nouns, adverbs. These are describing how I'm doing these things here. And conjunctions, we are joining sentences at this point. So I could, again, just write something really simple, like I like to play with my ball, but we could make that a bit, bit more interesting. So how about, instead of starting the sentence with I as well, let's think of a different opener. Earlier, this morning, So now we're thinking about the past tense there, so I might have to think about which verb and which suffix I want there. Earlier this morning, I playing or I played with, now I could write with my ball, but over here it says I could include some adjectives, so I think I might do that there. Earlier this morning, I played with my Hmm, and how could I describe my ball? I know, with my blue, comma, bouncy ball. And I really like those words there because they all begin with a B and we know that's alliteration there. So earlier this morning I played with my blue bouncy ball. Let me think of an adverb here. How could I be playing with my blue bouncy ball. I played with my blue bouncy ball happily. happily. So that's telling me how I'm 
doing the verb and remember my verb is playing so i am playing happily a lot of my adverbs end in ly not all of them but a lot of the ones we know end in li i could make my sentence longer by using a conjunction there so earlier this morning i played with my blue bouncy ball happily i could use and and I could extend that if I wanted to, again, including those things there, or maybe even including another verb there. But have a go at that at home and see if you can write any really interesting sentences. Challenge yourself to use these things in your sentences.